Good morning, YouTube. Hey, guys. Uh, today, we're on Plan B. What do I mean by Plan B? Well, we were out trying to fish in deep water, but the wind is way too bad uh, out there. So it's going to slow down a little bit after a while. And the fish aren't really hitting hard right now, but I expect them to do it a little better after a while. So I stopped. I'm going to shoot another video. Look at that. There's a bridge behind me. I'm not done a bridge video in a long time. Today we're going to talk about how to do, how to uh, troll a bridge, how to fish the bridge. I'm doing trolling and not use any electronics. I'm going to show you some things on electronics to prove what I'm, I'm showing, but uh, we're going to do this without electronics, guys. So what I'm doing, I'll just go ahead and show you real quick. I'm using, let me get up closer. I'm using the ACC eight foot rod and there we go. I've got basically two weights on a swivel, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute, but I'm making it really heavy. These are, I think a fourth ounce. I've got about a two foot liter and a jig, a really heavy jig. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm trolling. And as I'm going, I'm gonna probably, I, I don't know yet where I'm gonna be on, cause I gotta see how bad the, the wind is, um, how fast I need to go. But usually I troll about four or five on my level four or five on my trolling motor and what that does is allows the weight will pull down heavier than the jig and the jig will trail back behind sorry let me do that way so pole being here going down i'm looking to try to get about 12 to 14 foot deep may have to go a little deeper today because the water's up i'll show you uh, in a minute hey so y'all stay tuned and let's catch some fish Hey guys, as we do every time, I'm gonna do a prayer and uh, I wanna go ahead and do it right here before we get over there. It's gonna be really loud with the cars. So let's go ahead and pray. Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for a beautiful day today. And again, for allowing us to be out here um, in your beauty. Pray right now, Lord God, for, um, for anybody who's uh, struggling, Lord God, that you can help show them your, your power, Lord God. Um, pray that you'll help, help us all have patience uh, to wait on you, Lord God, and with anything that we have, just to, to wait on, on your timing, not our timing. We love you, Lord God. It's in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to save us for our sins. We pray. Amen. All right. Let's troll over there and catch a fish. Oh, almost snapped my rod on my cleat. All right, so this is the one part where I'm going to use electronics, and the reason is I want to show you what we're doing and show you why we're doing it. So... This right here is the bridge. It's gonna be the center column, or the center three columns there. You can see the bridge, uh, that tie, rut, tie beam is roughly 11 to 13 foot down. Uh, that's what we're gonna be trolling against. Uh, also take a look at there, look at all the crappie stacked up in there. So you can tell these guys are here. Um, this is kind of what they're looking for. Most of these bridges that you fish are gonna have these uh, cross ties in there just a matter of finding out they have it or not and then trolling around it also i will be working off this side of the uh the boat just doing figure eights keep myself on this side the entire time reason i'm using an eight foot rod is uh, i don't want to use a 12 foot number one underneath this bridge is gonna be hard to set the hook uh, if i use a six foot it's gonna be uh, a lot closer to the the boat i want to stay a good distance from the boat be able to troll along there and, and able to set the hook as well so that's what i'm doing today once again you can see my setup here and i'm going to spin around we're going to start trolling and see if we catch some fish so what i'm going to do is i want to get about 15 foot down i know for me that's about right there get my my weight touching the water at a full stretch with an eight foot rod i've just measured enough done enough to to know here and i'm just going to troll like this
I'm gonna keep myself as close to close to the uh, the post. People get mad at me for saying pylon. That's what I've always called them. But it's cool. And, we, and look at that. Got one right off the bat. So I just tell you, if you catch one, make sure you turn outward, especially in wind like this, or you will hit. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You'll wind up hitting the uh, hitting the bridge. Well, they are here. I was wondering. He swallowed that sucker too. Good, good little crappie right there. I am keeping these. Sorry, keeping these. This is the last day I'm gonna transport to the new lake. I started that on my other video, caught two fish. I got them in there. All right, let's measure it back out. And here's the deal, when I catch a fish, I will continue to come around that post until I don't catch them anymore. Got another one. <laughs> These little guys want it bad. A lot of y'all are probably wondering why do I want to troll a bridge versus tie up to it. Well, number one, I want to beat my boat up on the dock or on the bridge itself. But number two, they get to cover a lot more water. I'm going to find those active fish. You can use this with a minnow or a jig. I'm using a jig right now, but I've done this with minnows many, many times. So going this way is a little bit more tricky because I'm not using my trolling motor except to steer left and right. I'm floating with the wind. She's got to have good foot control, get used to it. Got him. Not very big, but. So that's three off this one pole right here, guys. Ah, you got off. Stop, stop, be a good boy. Get a measurement on him. Just barely. And I'm about to hit the, the bridge. Keep getting hit right there. Again. Got him. That's a good fish. Well, that may be a, no, man, that's a good, good fish. Stop. Spot lock myself. <sighs> Look at that, guys. All without electronics. You know, we, we love, we harp on live scope. I love live scope. Side scan, uh, you name it, it's fun to use, but you don't have to have it. On this deal, all you need is a boat with a trolling motor. And I think a lot of people have it, but you can also do it. There's guys right there on the bank that are fishing under the bridge, throwing up next to the, the first row and catching crappie as well. So I'm not going over there because I don't want to disturb them, but um, nice fish.
So what we're finding here is a lot of blacks. I haven't seen one white crappie up here yet, and that's probably due to the fact that a lot of the whites are still up in that spawning area, in that staging area, and have not moved out yet. The blacks always uh, spawn first, and you know, so they're gonna be the first to really move out. Um, even up there where we were fishing earlier, which will be probably the next show, uh, that's, I think we caught one white yesterday, or the other day, and all the rest were blacks. That's what I'm seeing this morning as well. So let's get back after it. So something you can also do is move your move your depth around. Uh, you start catching some good ones. Like right here, I got one. Are you kidding me? A little sand bass. <laughs> All right, Boudreaux, stop. What are you fishing? I was talking. Anyway, what I was going to say, you can move your depth around. So you start catching some fish, move your depth around and see if you catch bigger ones. So if you know they're at say 15 feet, for instance, you can move up a little bit, you can move down a little bit and just kind of get an idea of, of where they're at. All right guys, y'all gonna ask, I know somebody asked this, so let me go ahead and cover it. Why do I have such a long leader? Quite honestly, I probably need to have a little bit longer leader. Um, one thing I've noticed, especially on this lake, which is really bad, make sure I hit spot lock. Fish love unpainted, they love lead. That's why I'm using a unpainted head here. And this one, I wanna get this so far away from the jig that they're not distracted by this. Same thing when I'm jigging, when I'm doing vertical jigging out in the deeper water. I want it, I, for the vertical jigging with live scope, I want two things moving but I want to keep this away from the fish so they don't, or so they see this. And that's what I'm trying to do here is I'll start getting a bunch of hits and I know what it is they're hitting this thing and not this. So that's kind of why I have that long of a leader on it. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a real good fish. Boop flip. <clears throat> Look at that white crappie. That's what I like to see. Oh yeah. I'm actually gonna keep him and eat him. Mm -mm. All right guys, so this is what we're catching today. I wanna go ahead and end this show. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys got some great information on, on how to bridge fish without having to use electronics. Um, a lot of people can't afford live scope, don't want to get live scope, and you don't have to have it. All you got to do is, if, if you have a side scan um, or a word of mouth to figure out where, uh, what's underneath the water to figure out where to troll, troll by. But um, if you don't, if there's nothing there, just troll the columns. That's all you got to do. Uh, very easy to do. Um, different scenarios that we've dealt with today wind uh, stuff like that hopefully truck go by hopefully you guys got some good information thanks so much if you would uh, hit that like button if you haven't already subscribed I appreciate it if you would and man y'all have a great day we will catch you on the next uh, show next week at least one a week if not two thank you so much